LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to show you how to install your keys onto your keyboard. We're going to start out with a regular size key, then we're going to go to a large size key, and then finally the space bar. So for the regular size key, we're going to use the K letter, and this is the K area. You can see that at the top here, there's two metal hooks, and at the bottom, there's two metal hooks also. Um, notice that the top ones are closer together than the bottom ones. Uh, because the position for those determines the position for the metal hinges and uh, we're going to click these hinges uh, together to make one then we're going to click that onto the keyboard and finally we're going to put the keycap on top of that so you can see we're going to start with the large key here or the large hinge uh, you can see that at the top corners it has two pins then at the bottom it has um, two rectangular like holes uh, also in the middle it has two holes those are um, for the next piece to click onto it so make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like this because I mean it won't allow the mechanism to work so you have to feel underneath the vertical bars and if you feel a bump that faces and touches the keyboard on top it's one smooth piece from top to bottom so put it put this piece down for now in the right position get your next piece which is this and this piece has um, two pins at the bottom two at the very top and two in the middle but you can see that uh, the ones at the top are slightly smaller and I say top and bottom because uh, the small pins have to go aligned to wherever the two hooks are closer together on the keyboard. In this case they're at the top so we're going to put those to the top. If uh, these uh, closer together hooks on the keyboard were to be down here then you were you have to flip this over just like that. But you know in this case they're at the top so we're going to leave it like this. Then we're going to make sure not to put it upside down with uh, the same technique. Feel underneath the vertical bars. If you feel a bump in the middle that faces the keyboard, on top it's one smooth piece. So now you know the position for both pieces, you put the small piece over the large one and the, we're going to put the top part of the small piece underneath the top part of the large piece. So go ahead and do that. That's how it's going to look then we're going to hold that in place and click this uh, pin that's in the middle of the small piece onto the hole that's in the middle of the large piece. And we're going to do the right one first. So what you want to do is uh, separate both pieces enough for that pin to actually have enough room to go into that hole. Now that pin is in there, the top is underneath, and we want to hold those two pieces together. We still have to put this other pin into that other hole, so uh, it just separate the large piece away from the small piece, and there you go. Now both hinges are one. What we have to do now is put these two holes that are at the very corners um, at the bottom, put those wherever the uh, large hooks are, or the ones that are separated from each other. In this case, they're at the bottom, so put those in and hold it in place. Um, what we have to do now is stretch the hinges upward enough for the pin
pins to go around and under the hooks that are on the keyboard itself. Now you're going to have to stretch those hinges quite a bit, so use, um, I don't know, find a way to stretch those hinges upward. Once uh, everything is underneath that, uh, you get your keycap, you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. So that takes care of the uh, regular size key. Let's do the enter now, which is a large key. And it's the same procedure for the hinges, only on a slightly bigger scale. The only thing that really changes is the keycap itself. You can see this is the right position for it, and if you turn it over, uh, it has some fittings in the back. So those fittings are going to grab onto this metal wire. Uh, there's two at the bottom here, don't pay attention to those, those are for the hinges. And then there's two large ones over here and over here, um, those are for the hinges as well. So the two fittings that are at the very, very top of the keycap are for this wire. So you want to put the wire right in between those fittings and just click down on it. Uh, don't lay the wire down flat, keep it open and then uh, look for the right position for the keycap which is this again because you can read enter hold on it came out now when you um, when you have this in the right position keep the wire open and flip it over this way so you can see the wire and the, the uh, ends of the wires are going to go into these loops here these metal loops um, so yeah, do one side first, and then do the right, the left side. Once those are in there, you just have to lay your key cap down onto the hinges and click it, and that's it. Now for the space bar, it's the same procedure. You just put your rubber cup in the two hinges and look for the loops. But in this case, they're not really loops; they're more like hooks. One's over here to the right, and one's over here to the left. You uh, you look for the right position for the keycap, which is this. You flip it over this way, put those two wires in. In that position, you can just copy this video. Um, then you f leave the cable open upwards like that. Then you want to flip the entire keycap over like that and then you want to look at the bottom side like that so you just put those wires underneath those hooks this one and that one and then you just flip your key over onto the hinges and push down evenly on the entire uh, keycap so that the keycap can actually click onto those um, hinges and there you go that'll take you a few seconds but that's all if there is to it LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.